Welcome to Pirate Studios, Jamie Hartley again from Crossfader, the step-by-step -step learning platform for DJs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get some sound out of this equipment if you run into any problems here at the studio. First of all, you're going to need your USB drive with music loaded on ready to plug into the CDJs. You should be able to plug it into any one of the CDJs in front of you because they will be linked within the studio. In some club situations, if you take some of this learning to an actual club, it's always worth having two USBs on you or even three if you use more than two CDJs so that you can plug an individual one into each of the CDJs as they might not be linked. Let's now take a closer look at how to make sure that these are powered on, they're connected properly and some of the essential things that you need to know to get the sound working. When you first arrive at Pirate Studio, you may find that all the equipment is powered off. Now, something really important is to make sure before you power it on that we have all of the levels down here at the bottom. Turn the master level down right down to this position. And then I've even turned all of the trims down. This just avoids any unwanted pops or even blowing the speakers when you turn things on. You may find that the speakers are turned off as well. But what we can do when all the levels are down is turn the power on of all of the equipment. The power is just behind each of the bits of gear and you can just turn them on when the levels are down. Next, you may want to check that the speakers are turned on. In this room that we've got here, there'll be a white light on the front of the speaker if it's active and turned on. If not, you may want to switch the power switch located behind the speaker. Like I said, make sure your levels are down before you turn these speakers on so we don't blow the speakers. Once you have the equipment powered on, you'll want to plug your USB device in and I'm just going to quickly put any song on just to try and get my sound levels right. In the next video, I'll show you how to navigate and use the equipment so that you can navigate through the CDJs. But for now, I'm just going to load a song and hit the play button. Now the track's playing, so all I want to do first is bring the fader up on channel 2, which is this CDJ that's plugged in. Now we don't see anything on the meter yet. We want to bring the trim control up and then we should start to see the lights bounce up. We want to bring this up to around the zero position. Try not to bring it right round so that it's hitting the red or even the clip light is flashing. This is a good position for that level control. Now we can move over to the master control and start to bring this up. You should start to hear the sound come out in the studio. You'll notice that the level will come up visually on these LED lights here. Make sure that on the master you don't push it into the reds and blow the speakers in the studio. That is a good position. If you've just done all those steps and still don't hear any sound output then here are a few things to be aware of. The switches on top of each channel might be set up wrong. Now the CDJs in this setup are set up with the line here. So we've got to make sure that we've got it selected on the line output. That's because we've got the red and white wires along the back connecting CDJ to mixer. There are other options though. If you were using turntables, they could be set up in phono. If you were using a digital cable, which is a different output on the back of the mixer, it might be on digital. Or if you have a laptop plugged in to a USB drive, it might be on these settings here, A or B. So the DJ before you might have been using the mixer in this way. So you need to make sure that you then switch it to the correct output via the selector here. You may also want to check that things like the sound color effects haven't been left on, for example. You can hear here, it won't sound quite right if the sound color effects are left on. You'll also want to check this crossfader. Now, these switches here allow you to switch the crossfader from the A side to the B side and assign different channels to both sides. Now, at the moment, the channels are all set on through, which means the crossfader crossfader is inactive but let's say it's switched onto the a side and someone's knocked the crossfader here it all looks right but you haven't got any sound coming out and that could be because the crossfader is cutting the sound off you can just switch this back to through if you don't use the crossfader you will need to bring with you a pair of headphones they're not provided by pirate studio so it's worth getting your hands on a pair the headphones plug in just down here at the bottom of the mixer. You've got both options of an eighth or a quarter inch jack, so you can plug it in either way. Once the headphones are plugged in, then anything that says Q on the mixer are all to do with activating sound in the headphones. 
These are your channel cues, and this is your master cue. You can turn the level of the headphones up and down here, and then above this we have the mixing option. Let's say for example you're playing a song out loud on this channel. You want to bring the track in on the next channel. We could put the cue on for the headphones, and at this point we could hear what's going on in this channel. Now if you want to listen to both tracks together, you can put the master cue on here, and then you can blend between the channel cue and the master cue using this control. So if you left it in the middle, you'd hear an equal amount of the channel and the master, so you can prepare for what it's gonna sound like when you mix it in. There is also a headphones mono split and stereo. I'd recommend leaving it on stereo. For most DJs, this is the case. Above that, we have the link cue. However, these mixers aren't linked in with the Pro DJ link, so we don't need to worry about that either. Hopefully by now you've got some sound coming out of this equipment and you're ready to start mixing. If you want to move on to the next video and learn a bit more, I'm going to deep dive into some of the navigation features and performance features, both on the CDJs and on the mixer. So you can learn a bit more about this equipment in front of you and really make the most of it for your session here at Pirate Studios. I'll see you soon.